Hi everyone, it's Ms. Busio. Today we are going to create a double bubble map uh, to answer our prompt that says compare how ringtails and raccoons have adapted to challenges in their habitat. So the reason why we're using a double bubble is because this word here, compare, okay, um, we want to organize our thinking, uh, organize our thinking with that compare and contrast. We want to find details that explain why, um, explain how ringtails, right, these two things, ringtails and raccoons, how they, um, ways that they've adapted that's the same, ways that they've adapted that is, um, that are different. So, uh, remember that the two things we're comparing are ringtails and raccoons and how they've adapted. So, the two middle bubbles here, right, I have ringtails and raccoons. Remember the bubbles in the middle that extend out from the ringtails and raccoons uh, are going to cite information from the text uh, that explains how they are, they've adapted in the same ways. And the bubbles that extend out from each of our um, topics are gonna explain how, uh, ways that they've adapted that are different. So. Uh, let's start by going to the text, right? And we want to find details. Um, maybe we'll start with one way that they've adapted uh, that's different. So uh, the challenge in there, um, the challenge they both faced was humans were moving into their uh, habitat, right? So one way. In paragraph four, okay, if you go to the start here where it says ringtails and raccoons one lived, once lived in wild places with few people, right? But then people moved in um, to their area, built cities and roads. Well, further on it said ringtails sometimes go into buildings for shelter, okay? Many raccoons live in cities and towns. So ringtails, they've adapted to humans in their habitat by finding shelter in buildings. So I'm going to draw a line that extends out from the bubble ringtails, okay? And then write that um, idea that uh, they go into buildings for shelter. Okay, so go ahead and you can write that too. Well, I take a moment to write that. Um, so my line goes out. It can be anywhere, long, but as long as it's not in, going into the middle, remember? Because that's where we talk about how they're the same. Um, go into buildings for shelter. Okay, so remember, I write first and then I bubble. Okay, so then right across, I'm going to write how uh, raccoons, what they have done. Raccoons, they live among the people, right? So they don't really hide away from people. They live in those cities um, and towns. And then it said at the bottom, right here at the end of this paragraph, sometimes raccoons come inside houses to find food. So they're not as... Um, skittish or afraid as maybe the ringtails are. So, raccoons, I'm going to write raccoons live in cities 
and towns. Okay. And then another bubble that says sometimes go in houses looking for food, right? Okay. All right. So your job is to come up with uh, one way that they have adapted to humans being in their environment, in their habitat, this challenge, um, that is the same. So to do that, I would go back to my text and find for, look for clue words like both or, um, uh, what's another clue word that signals um, the same or, let's see, um, also, okay, so I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with, right? I can make a little and then I'll bubble what I come up with that's the same. So I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Um, talk to you later. Bye.